Recursion understanding is very important if you want a good grip over data structure and algorithm based problems. Almost every topic in DSA is implemented using recursion only. And the best thing about the recursion is your lines of code is very less and you will get your desired results. So that's why people prefer to use the recursion for solving many of the problems in DSA. So every topic in DSA, whether it's an array or a binary tree or a graph or dynamic programming problems or let's say backtracking, everywhere recursion is used. Like for example, let's say if we take an example of array. So in case of an array, we have binary search where we have given the sorted array and we need to search an element in the sorted array. So if you see the implementation part of the binary search, there we use the recursion. So here this is the kind of a code snippet of binary search where we have the method binary search and then we are calling the function within itself. So this is the recursion. We use the recursion to implement this binary search. Similarly, if we talk about the most famous sorting algorithm like merge sort, where we can sort an array in n log n complexity. So if you want to implement the merge sort, there also we have the divide process. So we have the divide and conquer approach in merge sort and the divide process is done using the recursion only. So in array also a lot of problems is solved using the recursion. Similarly, if you talk about the linked list, so in the linked list, if you traverse or let's say reverse a linked list, then it can easily be done using the recursion. So this reverse a linked list problem, many of you have seen during the interview because it is a very famous question to reverse a linked list. And this can done efficiently using the recursion. Yes, you can do that in iterative as well. Like if you want to traverse a linked list or you want to reverse a linked list, you can do that iterative way as well. But the iterative code is very complex to implement. That's why people prefer the recursion to solve this kind of problem. Similarly, binary tree. Uh, well, in case of the binary tree, 95% of the binary tree problems can be implemented using recursion only. In fact, you simply traverse a binary tree either using in order or pre order or post order that can be achieved using recursion. Like this is a sample code of the in order traversal of a binary tree and here we use the recursion to achieve it. You can do here also iterative way. So you can do the in order process or pre order or post order using iterative or using loops. But the code is very very complex. That's why people also use the recursion here. And if we talk about the can only be implemented using the recursion. Like for example the Anquin problem or Sudoku problem or let's say if you want to find out the permutations of the string or numbers that can be done using recursion and of course our graph well in the graph we have some famous algorithms like most of the graph problems can be solved using these algorithms like bfs dfs topological sorting or tri implementations and there are many applications of the tri implementations and these algorithms is implemented using the recursions and dynamic programming of course uh, well, in case of the dynamic programming, mostly we use the recursion to solve a problem using brute force approach. So there we have much more optimized way as well. But for solving the dynamic programming using the brute force, we use the recursion here. So the candidates who start preparing for the data structure and algorithm spend good amount of time in recursion understanding with various examples. Once you start visualizing the recursive cause, then implementing algorithm problems is very easy task for you.